What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to show you guys, in my opinion, the absolute best widget application for iOS 14 and that is Widgie. Widgie, in my opinion, hands down, the best widget application you can get just because there is so much customization um, that you can do within the application to create a widget literally from scratch to what you're seeing on screen here. This one I created yesterday. Uh, it's very, very in depth. And uh, like I said, you just have full control over every little element and everything. And there's just a ton of features. So along with that, it makes it very hard to make a video about it. Now, what I wanna cover here is the basic stuff. Uh, so just the, the basic, you know, um, functionality of the application uh, and then some common questions that people ask a lot, like how to make the background of the widget look transparent, um, how to import widgets and that. So I'm gonna do real basic stuff in this video, guys. Um, but first, we're just gonna go ahead and launch Widgie, and I'm gonna show you guys basically, you know, the, the different pages here and what you do in each of those pages to give you guys an outline of the functionality of it. So first off is create a Widgie. So you can start creating your own widget from scratch. It's a layer based system and uh, an element system. So you have full control over layers and elements and colors and just about anything you can think of, you have full control over it. So it's almost like trying to cover uh, like a, you know, a Photoshop application. It's, it's very robust and there's not one thing that you can really just go in and be like, Hey, this is, this is how you do that. It, it's just, there's so much to it that you can't really cover everything. Um, but that's the create the widget section. That's where the, you know, the biggest customization section of this application is once you go in there, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Uh, you start with elements and layers and you start working your way up to creating a widget that looks like that. Uh, next is the import widget section. This is probably the one of the biggest questions is how to import a widget. And I'll show you guys that later in this video, uh, how, you know, the easiest way of doing that. Uh, next is join the Widgie community. This is for the uh, Widgie community on Reddit. So I'd highly recommend you guys to check that out if you want to discover other you know, widgy widgets that people have created, be sure to check that out. And then you can leave a five-star rating for this amazing application. Um, so keep on scrolling here and you got your widgets here. So these are widgets that I have created. Um, some of you guys might recognize some of these. Some of them look very weird. Like why would you want to use those? And there's a reason for that because they're using uh, web-based images and they don't appear. So they look really wonky. I assure you that when they're in a setup, they look really cool. Um, so these are the widgets I've created. Like I said, you guys are probably going to recognize some of these. And then down here is where I have imported widgets, some of Sean's widgets, which are really cool looking, uh, some other widgets that I was just toying around with. And then you have getting started down below here. These are some, some more widgets that you could just, uh, you know, start using if you want. And then you have community widgets down below that. And, um, these are a bunch of, uh, widgets from the community that you could use as well. Uh, but the cool thing is, like I said, is being able to import and stuff. So we'll get into that here. So next section in, in the bottom tab here is manage. Now these are the widgets that are available to be used on the home screen. So I only have one small widget set up right now, but you can have up to six. And then here are the medium widgets. I have a duplicate there, I know. Um, and then the large widgets. So what I mean by this is when you go to your home screen and then you edit it and then you go to add a widget, uh, those are the widgets that are being displayed right here. So there's that one small one and then the rest are blank. And then here are my medium widgets and then large widgets, so on and so forth. So that's what the manage section is for in Widgie. Those are the ones that you can actually use on your home screen and you can you know very easily just click on one and then change it if you want to a different one that you have. Uh, very easy to just switch back and forth. Uh, next is a help section. If you guys need help with Widgie, go ahead and read through that section. And then the last section here is just the settings. Uh, you have a tip jar and purchases. Uh, there's permissions and language, reset, onboarding, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, big shout to you know the creator of this for, for putting um, app icon options. I absolutely love apps that do that. I don't know why, I just love apps that give me options for the icon. 
big, big brownie points for that. So now let's get into some of the common questions. So the first one is how to import a widget. So you go to import here, you can import the JSON, you can import from files, or the easiest is import QR code from your album. Now I'm gonna actually demo that real quick. And I'm gonna go into iHeaven, the iHeaven Discord to the widget QR shares. If you guys aren't in iHeaven, I would uh, recommend it. The link is in the description. But if we go into the, the widget QR channel here, as you can see, if you just swipe through here, you can see there's a ton of widgets that are available to download. So let's just do, uh, we'll do this one for example. So once you have found the QR code of the widget you wanna use, all you gotta do is save it to your camera roll, just like that. As easy as that, save that QR code, and then you can go back into widget, and then you can import QR code from album. I'll go ahead and select on that QR code, and boom, bada, bing, there is the uh, widget. Now the next biggest question is a lot of these are set up so that you want part of the background transparent. So what I'll do is I'll just click back here and then I'll make sure that that's in my imported, so it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to manage. I'm gonna replace this one with the new widget that I just downloaded, which is this one. We're gonna exit out of Widgie, uh, Widgie and then as you can see, actually, actually it instantly changed. I switched it to the one I'm using, but see how the background doesn't match. I'm gonna show you guys how to make that match. So what you do is you go into the widget and it's usually gonna be the very bottom layer. So we'll go into the widget, we'll go into edit mode and it's usually always the bottom layer. Apparently it's not. What you can do is you can just, uh, let's see here, do I have selection on? I do. Is there just no bottom layer? Maybe there's no bottom layer. So what you wanna do is there either be a bottom layer that is set for a certain wallpaper or you just need to, to add your own. You can just add layer and you're gonna do image, click the check mark. You want this image to take up the entire background. So the whole background of the widget, just like that. And now you can choose the image. Now you want it to match your background to look transparent. So what you do is you go to your home screen, do edit home screen, and then you can take a screenshot just like that. Click on done, go back into Widgie. Let's get that out of the way. And then we're gonna go to the crop tool. And then we're gonna import that screenshot we just took. And this is where you can crop out the background to go onto the widget. So we're gonna be putting the widget right here. So let's crop that image. Now what it did is it saved it to our camera roll. So let's go to image library, select on that cropped image. And there we have a background now. I'll go ahead and confirm that change, exit, and you guys will see that it changes and it looks like it's got no background. That's how you do the backgrounds. A lot of people ask that. That's how you make the background look transparent. Now it, it's it's still there, so if you move the page, you can see that outline move with it. Uh, but a, a lot of us usually just have this as a one page setup like you guys see here, uh, just to look you know very seamless. Um, but that's how you import, that's how you set backgrounds to be transparent. Um, like I said, th those are some of the basic fundamentals of Widgie. If we go into create a Widgie, um, you can choose small, medium, or large. Let's just say the medium. And like I said, this is all a layer ba based system. It's, it's kind of like its own photo editing program in a way there's, there's so much to it that, you know, it's very hard to cover every little element here. You have text, symbol, solid, gradient, image, bar chart, circle chart, tap actions, and calendars. Um, it's, it's very in depth, especially if you go into, you know, just one of these, if I just go into text, so we, we start editing this layer, you have your framing so you can move it up or down. You have your fonts, you have a bunch of different fonts to choose from regular, bold. You have the color options here, even the color options, you have system, material, palettes, custom, you have the control over alpha, you have background. You have full effect control here, and then also there's the data, which data is this text pulling from. Like I said, it's very in-depth, and I'm not gonna try and cover that in this video, but there is some of the basics for you guys, how to import a widget, how to set the background, how the application works. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, um, I'm, I might get more advanced with this if you guys want me to on actually creating a widget from scratch so you guys can see 
how I kind of do it and, you know, how I come up with some of the ideas uh, of my widgets. Just let me know in the comments if that's something you guys want me to do. Otherwise, I'll leave the links for everything you guys will need down in the description. I'll leave the link to the, the app store. I'll leave the link to um, the Widgie community on Reddit and also the iHeaven Discord if you guys want to discover Widgies there. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.